Every day, doctors use ultrasound, CT scans, and MRIs to see inside the body without making an incision. Those tests are great at showing size and structure, but they don't show important physical properties such as tissue stiffness, which, for example, is a sign of fibrosis in the liver. But researchers at Mayo Clinic have developed technology that uses sound waves to see if a patient's liver is harder than it should be, if it's developing fibrosis. It's called magnetic resonance elastography, and it offers a non-invasive alternative to liver biopsy. Most days, Michelle Hamilton goes about her tasks without thinking about her liver disease. I have autoimmune hepatitis, and it's a disease where your body um, attacks your liver. Most of the time it's silent, but occasionally this chronic disease flares, causing fatigue and jaundice. Then Michelle has a biopsy to see if the flare-up caused fibrosis or stiffening of her liver. It's not something that I look forward to doing. But the last time, instead of a biopsy, Michelle had a new procedure developed at Mayo Clinic called Magnetic Resonance Elastography, or MRE. It combines MRI technology and low-frequency sound waves. This is an MR image of the upper abdomen. And here, this very large organ in the upper abdomen is the liver. Now looking at this uh, liver with magnetic resonance imaging, regular magnetic resonance imaging, it's not possible to tell whether or not this patient has fibrosis in the liver. But Mayo Clinic radiologist Dr. Richard Eman demonstrates that when used during an MRI, the new MRE technology shows, on a color scale, the stiffness of a liver. Here's how it works. This drum generates uh, waves in the abdomen. The drum is placed on the patient's abdomen. The sound waves move through stiff tissue and supple tissue at different rates. A computer analyzes the differences and shows what's healthy soft tissue and what's not, like in this other patient. This shows the sound waves moving through the tissues of the upper abdomen. This is the final product of this uh, diagnostic procedure. It's called an elastogram. And it shows if a patient has fibrosis and where it is in the liver. Being able to see the whole liver in this way, not just the site where the biopsy was taken, may help doctors decide what to do next. It can give us an idea of how we would proceed with regards to treatment. Dr. Giant Tallwalker says treatment for Michelle, who hopes to never undergo an invasive biopsy again. Michelle's liver is still healthy. She does not have fibrosis. She said in addition to being easy to go through, the procedure was sort of like having a massage. Many liver diseases, including autoimmune hepatitis, hepatitis C, and alcoholism can lead to fibrosis. And if the condition is not successfully treated, the disease can progress to cirrhosis, for which the only treatment is liver transplantation. MRE is another tool in the fight against the progression of these diseases. And Dr. Eman says future uses of MRE may include imaging the breast, prostate, and other organs. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.